Hey there, today I'm going to be doing a little diagnosis on what's going on with this Chamberlain LiftMaster professional garage door opener I got from my mother. She uh, had to replace it. Uh, I'd gone over there at one point and she said her garage door opener was making funny noises. So me and my brother looked at it and uh, determined the chain was loose. So we just tightened the chain up a little bit, didn't think much of it. And then next time we went over there she was saying it was making noise again so I went out to look at it and this gear on top was cocked over to the side like that now I didn't think that this was a replaceable part so I just told her her garage door opener was toast she went and bought a new one my brother installed it and and kind of reinforce the installation a little bit and she's very happy with that one because it's quieter than this one so she gave me this one for free and today I'm gonna open it up the rest of the way and make sure there's no other parts that I might need make sure we get the right ones ordered so let's get started now that I got you positioned a little better let's see if I can show you what I saw from the outside that bearing there is completely toast. So let's open it up and see what's all involved in replacing that. Okay, so I've never actually opened a garage door opener before, but the reason I took it was if it's not fixable I figured I could use the motor maybe some of the circuitry for something but I think it's probably more advantageous just, just to fix it and use it so the first thing I'm noticing is a lot of black crud everywhere and I think it's coming from that that bearing that got destroyed there I'm going to go ahead and take both the end pieces off so I can get a better look at what's going on here since this is where the problem's at. So the piece I'm after is this gear assembly. And it looks like in order to get that out, this small white gear on top needs to come off and it's held on by this little pin clip. Get a shot of that so you can see before I remove it. So that should come right off. And then this gear will slide right off. And that bearing sits in a plate that's attached with three eight millimeter screws. Let's go ahead and we'll just remove those and see if that whole thing comes out. left of that bearing. Let's see all the grease is full of the crud from that bearing. I 
probably just a brass sleeve. And I spent some time cleaning up the inner surface of this bearing, or bushing as some might call it. I don't see any visible damage, so I think that is still usable. I'm going to go ahead and take apart this upper and lower limit assembly and clean off the worm gears and everything because they're pretty covered in crud. Okay, so I've got the limit sensor assembly all cleaned up. Before I put that back on, I'll go ahead and clean up this worm gear a little bit. Alright, now that I got that worm gear nice and cleaned up, this assembly's been cleaned and put back together and put on. I'll go ahead and head downstairs and order some parts. To ereplacementparts.com and put in my the model number of this garage door opener and on this diagram it's number two and the part number I need is 41C4220A. I think I can get it cheaper on Amazon so I went over and looked and found this one. It definitely comes with more than what I need really all I need is this piece and that grease but it comes with a couple other parts so I'm going to order that because it's cheaper and I can get it by Friday and next weekend we'll have a little video on putting it back together and I'm going to see if I can get the mounting brackets and everything at the same time so we can get this rolling. Until then, catch you next time. Thanks for watching.